We'll start with the unusual fossils and end with the extremely rare ones. Inside this rock is a 300 million year old fern. And inside this one, there's a prehistoric flying insect. These fossils are packaged inside small rocks that fit them just perfectly. And this collection has tons of them. Shelves full of fossils, cabinets full of shelves, and rooms full of cabinets holding hundreds and thousands of these perfectly preserved prehistoric pokeballs. But there's something strange about these fossils that doesn't quite make sense. Take a look at this fossil right here. Can you tell what this is? Here's a bigger one. If you look closely, there's a line running through it. That's a stem, which makes these leaves. These fossils come from the leaves of a large prehistoric tree-like plant. But there's something strange about these plants. I'll show you a couple from the same species. They're all at the same growth stage. Plants look different over time. They sprout, grow taller, leaf out, they change. But these are all at the same stage. How could that be? There's also something odd about these animal fossils. Can you tell what this is? Here's the front, and this is the back. It's a small, prehistoric fish. This one's a little bit harder to figure out. Here it is from another angle. This is the head, and this is the body. It's a small, prehistoric shrimp. The unusual thing about all of these animal fossils is that the bodies are complete. On that insect we opened earlier, you can even see the veins on its wings. Usually, when an organism dies, it might be stepped on, scavenged, eaten. But all of these animals are completely intact. But here's the strangest of them all. All of these fossils were collected at the same place in Illinois that looked kind of like this. 300 million years ago. And one of the most common fossils you'll find there are these. Can you tell what these are? They're jellyfish. Typically, the hard parts of an animal, like their bones, are the ones that get fossilized. But jellyfish aren't hard at all. And yet here are tons of fossilized jellyfish. What happened? Well, all of these questions point to the same thing. Jellyfish can only be fossilized if they're completely covered in sediment very quickly. The plants would only be at the same growth stage if they were all preserved at the same time. And the fact that the animals are completely intact suggests they were all buried alive. All signs point to a historical weather event, a catastrophic flood that suddenly covered the entire area in silt and mud, trapping millions of organisms underground, perfectly preserved for us to open, 307 million years later. But wait, wait, hold on. What is this? This is my secret new merch. There are some sweatshirts, t-shirts, a beanie, and even a mug. The products should be tagged in this video, and my official merch store is also listed in the description. So check things out, and let me know what you think. Specimen use made possible by the Chicago Academy of Sciences.